Hey everybody, I'm Chris Kata Floyd 2, and today I'm going to do another Fire Emblem character ranking list for a class. This time we'll be focusing on the Myrmidon class. Well, this list will follow the same rules as the last one, so this isn't based on just stats, it's mainly based on the character themselves. Also, I'm only going to be counting characters whose default class is either Myrmidon or Swordmaster. I won't be counting anyone who can be reclassed into those classes. And, like always, this is just my personal opinion, so don't get mad if your favorite Myrmidon does not make it on the list. And feel free to tell me who your favorite Myrmidons are in the comment section below. Anyway, that out of the way, let's get on with the show. And number 5 is Marissa from the Sacred Stones. Marissa is a member of the Garrix Mercenaries and starts as an enemy unit who you can recruit. And I like her because not only is she a badass swordsman, but she's also pretty cute. There's a lot of really cute supports in the game with Joshua, Garrick, and Tanner. And number 4 is Mia from the Tellius series. Mia is this quirky and adorable Smyrmidon who's trying to become the best swordmaster she can be and is always on the search for her sworn rival. Overall, I just find Mia to be a very adorable and likeable character. All the reviews to it. And number three is Karel from the Alib series. Karel is one of the few characters to be playable in both the Alib games, and his personality changes drastically between the two. In the Blazing Blade, he is known as the Sword Demon and is responsible for killing his entire family, bar his younger sister. He then travels across the leap looking for strong foes to kill in order to state his bloodlust. Fast forward to Binding Blade and he's mellowed out a lot and is now known as the Sword Saint. He's no longer the bloodthirsty psychopath he once was, he's now a kind and wise man. Overall, I just really like Carl's development and it makes me wonder if any of the other bloodthirsty characters in the series will turn out like him if given another 20 years or so to mature. At number 2 is Ryoma from Fates. Now as for why I like Ryoma, well for starters, he used as my favourite design out of all the Myrmidons in the series. That long flowing brown hair, the red armour, the lightning katana, he just looks so awesome. As for his character, well as the High Prince of Hoshido, he is a calm and collected person who is a great leader and a skilled fighter. He can also be really stubborn, but hey, nobody's perfect, although Takumi Shiro seems to think he is. Overall, Yoma is just badass incarnate, which really fits to being a Myrmidon, since that is, in my opinion, one of the most badass classes of all. However, there is one more Myrmidon in the series who I like a bit more than Ryoma. Now, before I move on to number one, I just want to give out a few honorable mentions to Myrmidons who, while they did make it to the top five, I still really like a lot. And my number one favorite Myrmidon in the series is Owain from Fire Emblem Awakening. Owain is Lissa's son from the future and is described as being a colorful character. He tends to speak in an over the top and theatrical fashion, which tends to annoy some of the other characters. Yet, despite how eccentric he is, he also should be very mature when he needs to be. This is best shown in Fates, where he's one of three Awakening characters to return, only this time he's a Dark Mage and goes under the name Odin instead of Owen. Here, after three characters, he's shown to be handling his situation the best, and isn't as homesick as the other two are, and helps them get over said homesickness, showing how much of a good friend he is. His daughter is also one of the few children who does not seem to be mad at him about abandoning her in the Deep Realm, showing that he has a good relationship and he's a good parent as well. Overall, Owen is one of those characters who's super cool and super hilarious at the same time, which is one of my favourite kind of characters to see in fiction. Anyway, that's all I've done for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.